in Germany and uh, probably we have another job. Is it possible for you to fly up and down? I'm like, sure, I'll check out tickets. Good morning, afternoon or evening, what is up? My name is Maarten, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Volus Vibes and welcome back to Volus where it is, as you can see, a pretty damn nice weather today. It's early by the way, we're on the bike and we're driving here next to the river which stinks right now because of the warm days that we've had a little bit before here. And I'm also, uh, I'm on the, I'm, I'm actually traveling again. Let's just be honest, people, today I'm literally back for a couple of days and we're traveling again and i don't mean on the bike for example i mean it's nice to be back on the bike on the bicycle again but uh no we are traveling again by airplane today and usually i travel from uh, thessaloniki but today we're not traveling from thessaloniki hey doggy there's always the dog they're always barking and then you pass by and he just stops Literally the day that I arrived by bus here in Volos, where I am right now again at the Tel station. That's also the day that Janis called me again and said like, hey dude, I'm in, Col in Cologne, in Köln, in Germany, and uh, probably we have another job. Is it possible for you to fly up and down? I'm like, sure, I'll check out tickets. looking for a ticket I thought oh wait a second but there's an airport nearby so I'm actually flying from Volos it's been a very long time I've come here way way more often in the past with my parents and then this uh, this entire airport did not look like the airport behind me it was actually simply the, the departure was actually a gate outside it was kind of fun it was like a cage outside where people were smoking and it was very, it was very cool and the guy that had a coffee bar there also now has a coffee bar in this building behind me he didn't change. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to see if he's still there. Don't see him. It's the little bar behind me there. That's where he uh, usually is, but I don't see him now. And I found out there's more actually flights from here. Didn't know that. Four flights today, even to Paris and London. And we're going to Düsseldorf. <laughs> security the line is so simple sometimes here sometimes something that I miss in other airports is this place now I stopped smoking three years ago but still it is nice when you're at the North airport and you have some space inside of the building to be outside see it's open here so people can smoke here if they want to and there right there is security check and it's way better than inside actually here it's nice and cool and it's echo Woo! anyway I'm gonna get a drink and now we're gonna board the airport. Airplane, I mean. Not, we're, in, we're already in the airport. I'm not awake, people. I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning. I'm not awake yet. <laughs> well, Germany, here we come. Walking to the airplane. Düsseldorf. Literally, I was here a couple of days ago and we're back here again. We're uh, gonna enjoy the weather outside. <sighs> I'm tired. I slept mostly through the entire flight and uh, I met a guy by the way in Volus, so it was very nice in the airport. We, we talked for a while and now I have to uh, go to the train. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. Get away, this is 
is what we waited. I think all airports should have that. All airports should literally have a uh, sky train that just takes you to the bus to the train station or to the bus station or wherever you need to go next. It is very cool to walk around in the in like a newer area again you know when you come from Greece it's also old all the time you know That train ride was weird. As you could see, it was amazingly beautiful, the train ride. It was uh, nice to look out of the, the, the windows and see all the green around me. It was super flat. I forgot how Germany also can be flat, like just the Netherlands, you know? But it, when we passed Cologne, we went over the very big bridge and you saw like the big Dom church. Uh, yeah, at that point, a lot of youth came in. And it actually, I, I recorded a little piece where they were playing music and everything. And Everybody was drinking. I forgot how how crazy they can go. And then I'll tell you more about like this situation here. See, it was loud on the train. It was really loud, and I didn't expect it. Right now, I'm standing in. Uh, a place I cannot name anymore. I think it's Gerpel or something, somewhere in Germany, close to Cologne at least we are. I went to the train to Horem and we ate, but I don't want to film the owner's private life because we had a very nice meal together. They cooked personally. I was invited to their house, a very nice, their pe these people are very nice. But this uh, barbershop who has been, uh, been here for 57 years, not barbershop, it's a hairdress saloon. It's also a barbershop on the other side. Like as you can see, here is where the women used to sit. And then you've got like the little entryway here and then back there you've got the barber area. It's gonna stay a little bit like that, but it's gonna be completely different. These doors, sorry, but they need to go. 57 years this door has been working like here. It needs, it needs a little bit of a, a touch, you know, this door. Hey, I know you. So yeah, and I'm now taking pictures. Like I said, the uh, new owner is very nice actually she's very uh, friendly she's gonna live up here she's right now getting a coffee right across the street because they have the greek restaurant of the family right across the street you can see it from the window El Greco, back there and now i'm going to measure the entire store i got a couple of comments what do you do exactly i'm a freelancer i've got my own office in the netherlands uh, I am. I do a lot of inter interior ar architect work. I'm not an official licensed architect, but there's a little difference between what I do at this moment and a real licensed architect does. I'm an interior designer. I like to make uh, 3D visualizations, as you could see also in the previous vlogs uh, of es Escobar. We walked into one of the designs, and right now I'm making a drawing here on the laptop. And it's going to be the entire building, like every corner I'm going to measure first from the floor, then I'm going to measure up all the windows, the height, where I do the pipes go. That's why I stay, That's why I come over and I measure the entire store literally from top to bottom. These old buildings, they only have hand-drawn drawings usually, like from the architects way back in the days. Uh, this is like an older building also from the outside. I'll film it later, but now that the owner is getting a little bit of coffee, Herietta, very friendly. Now that she's getting a cup of coffee for us. I decided to vlog a little bit for you guys because this traveling thing, it's strange. I, I flew this morning from six o'clock and right now it is again 
six o'clock actually. No, it's later already, seven. I, I mess up with the times because it's Greek time. And uh, what time is it now? Quarter to seven. So we're 12 hours on our way already. 12 hours traveling, measuring, talking. So that's like a full work day also for me and I'm not done. So it's going to be a 16 hour day in total. And then tomorrow I fly back again. Yeah, so that's another travel vlog. <laughs> But it's also Sunday, so maybe I do one take Sunday with Ilona only. But now you also understand why I didn't do a, a live stream the other day, for example. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the store needs some work. Really needs some work. Very nice, a pleasant day. Very nice people, really very nice people. I've done a lot of stores. And again, I have to be quiet because I've got my room here and the rest is also of the people that work in this restaurant. They're also like sleeping in this area, so I cannot talk too loud. I've done a lot of stores in the past. And in all honesty, I think these people are on, my, on the list of like the top of the nicest people. They're so friendly. And even though they're already for I believe 30 years sometimes here in Greece or in Germany, they still are very Greek, like but the, the right kind of Greeks. The, I say sometimes there's two types of Greeks. There's like the Greeks and there's the Greeks. And what well, most of the Greeks understand. And I think most of the people understand, but that's in every country you've got, that's boring. My room is this right now here. It's basic, <laughs> the laundry is here, I don't mind. My bed is here, it's clean, it is nice, it is cozy. And tomorrow I'm going to leave again. So uh, I'm very excited. Very excited to do this job. And I'm really going to give my best to make this uh, hair saloon. To make it a very nice hair saloon. I usually the style that uh, the style that we're going for. So we're going for like white and bright colors, but very modern and glass and uh, black leather, dark tile flooring. You know, it's it's a very modern touch, very high contrast. So a lot of black and white, some wood touches to it. I don't do it a lot of times, but when I do it, I do like it. You know, so and it's I have to say it's not a difficult thing, but I want to make it special anyway um for now i'm going to sleep it is for me five past one five past one for me in greek time it's five past one it's five past twelve here right now and that means that i'm going to sleep because i've been awake since like you know since six o'clock almost this morning so uh i thank you for watching if you like the vlog don't forget to hit the thumbs up button leave a comment down below because love to read don't always reply if it's a little bit short vlog sorry work you know but we're going to go back to Wallace tomorrow thank you for watching hope to see you next time